What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Goku Ryan Talks Tuesday. In this video, I'm gonna do a review of these sandals. These are recovery sandals from Tread Labs. All right guys, so Tread Labs just sitting over these sandals for me to do a review of, but we had no problem with us do a positive or negative review. This is my own thoughts on this product. And what is Tread Labs? You probably heard of this company before on my channel. I actually reviewed a pair of their orthotics. So I have a pair of them right here. And these are their orthotics. Whenever I was having plantar fasciitis, these really help support my arch whenever I wasn't running and when I was running. They're really helpful for me to take away the pain for my plantar fasciitis because it is caused by those tears in your plantar fascia. And whenever you do have that arch support, it helps those tears to heal. And that's what really helped me whenever I was dealing with plantar fasciitis. So I am a big fan of these Tread Labs. So I was excited when they sent over these new Tread Lab sandals. And this is the Covello over here, and this is the Albion. So what Tread Labs decided to do was make a recovery sandals. And what are recovery sandals? Basically, whenever you're not running, especially here in Texas, you run like 10 miles or five miles, and all that sweat drips down into your shoes. And maybe sometimes whenever you're running out there, you're like, man, I just wanna take off my shoes and put on something else. So that's what these shoes are. This is something else. This is what you put on after your run to recover your feet, recover your body, just be more comfortable after a run. And Trail Labs decided to make that and base that off of their orthotics. So if you see their orthotics over here, there is that arch support right here. You can see that arch support. And over here, it does have that same type of arch support over here to support your arch whenever you are just recovering afterwards. So first off, let's take a look at the two different shoes. This is the Covello over here, and this is the Albion. And I was wondering where they came up with those names. And I did a little bit of research and I found out that Albion and Covello are two cities in California. I'm pretty sure somebody who made these shoes, I don't think they're based out of California, but if they are, they are big fans of those two cities because they're about two hours drive from each other. So that's what they based the name off of, Covello and Albion. So basically the main difference between these shoes is that one has no strap and the other one does have a strap. So uh, we'll just take a look at the Covello for now and I'll describe the shoe, which is pretty much gonna be the same between the Covello and the Albion just without the strap. So let's take a look at the Covello. First off, you'll notice that there is the strap up top. So this is the strap. This is made by 3D printed knitting. So that's a cool process. That means there's no wisdom when they are making these sandals because it is 3D printed. This is what a lot of companies are doing right now. They're trying to be more eco-friendly and definitely Tread, Tread Labs is trying to do that as well with their 3D knitted material top right here and for me it's been comfortable when I've been wearing it it does have a little metal buckle over here at the back and you could just you know slide it back and forth and you'll be able to tighten it just like that and it stays put like that's the first time it has moved whenever I've done it so you could adjust it to whatever tightness you like whenever you are wearing it so after we look at the top of it we'll look at, take a look at the footbed the the footbed over here is a microfiber suede type of material pretty comfortable on the foot whenever I've worn it and yeah, you can see it does have like a topographical type of, you know, design over here. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the topography of your foot. That's what it kind of looks like. That could be a toe over here. That could be a toe. This could be your heel if you guys see that. But yeah, for the most part, whenever I'm wearing them, it's been comfortable for me. And then you have the midsole. The midsole is a polyurethane midsole. They say that they took the midsole out of a running shoe and put it on the sandal. So that's what that is. And yeah, I, I, it's not super squishy. It's actually quite firm. And I think that for your arch support, that's what you really need. Kind of firm, kind of squishy, but I would definitely say more on the firm side for that midsole. And then if we take a look at the outsole over here, this is a rubber outsole. You'll see that it does have a lot of texture over here. That's gonna help it make it slip resistant. And also this is made from recycled material as well. So again, this is the Covello and then this is the Albion. The only difference between these two sandals is going to be this right here. This is going to be 
the strap in the back, the heel strap, that's going to make it a little bit more fitted, a little bit more secure when you are out and about. So first off, what do I think about the looks of these sandals? I think that these sandals do look a little bit more hipster. Like it's like a hipster kind of look, but definitely somebody who goes outdoors a lot will be seen in these sandals. And I think that they are a good looking sandal. I know that Anna, she hates when I do wear flip flops, but when I am wearing these, she doesn't have a real issue with them. She's just fine with me wearing these compared to my flip flops. She really, really, really hates my flip flops. But I think that these are pretty good looking sandals for recovery sandals. If you look at other recovery sandals, they're going to be a lot more plumper, a lot more unpleasing to the eye. I mean, they'll look comfortable, but they're just not a good looking sandal. I think that these sandals, you can definitely wear out and about, and you'll be just fine at most casual locations wearing these sandals out and about. So next thing we'll talk about is comfort. I really like these sandals. I've been wearing them for about a month and a half now, and I've been enjoying them thoroughly. You can definitely see that I wear the Cavellos a lot more than I wear the Albions, and I think that's just because I'm the type of guy that likes the flip-flops, so these are closer to a flip-flop. You can just slip them over your feet, and you don't have to worry about the strap. Sometimes I'll put these on as well, and I'll, and I'll you know just step on the strap, and then I eventually I'll put them on. But for me, I like to slip on the Cavellos. These are definitely the ones I've been wearing the most. The next thing we'll talk about is the ride on these. For me, I feel like they are more firm and they are su very supportive on my arch and they're comfortable. I've been wearing these around and I've been doing everything with them. I've been washing my car. I've been walking around in the grass, walking around in malls, walking around to the grocery store. And these sandals are really comfortable. I have really, I've really fallen in love with them. And you know, they're just, they're just, they're just awesome to wear. And I do think that they are more hipster looking, but they are really good looking shoes to wear out. And I haven't had any type of blister formation with these. You can't tighten the buckle back and forth. Really comfortable sandals for me. And I've been wearing them after a run and they felt great too. Like after a run, Whenever I do wear, a lot of my shoes are minimalist shoes, so they do get sweaty really easy, and I don't have a lot of cushioning on those. So when I do put on these things, even though they aren't the more pillowy type of recovery shoes, compared to what I do wear, which are my Vibrams, man, these are like clouds whenever I'm wearing them, although they're not super cushy. Like I said, they're more firm, but compared to nothing, these are a lot more cloud feeling than nothing. The next thing we'll talk about is sizing. I do wear a size 12 shoe. Uh, so these are size 12s, and I feel like, I feel like for the Cavellos, the size 12 fits perfectly with me. I, th I didn't really have an issue with size 12. And even Trail Labs told me if you are half size, go up to the next size because they don't have half sizes. So if you're a 12.5, go to 13. Uh, but for me, the size 12s work fine in the Albion. But for the Covellos, this is the one with the strap. I didn't feel like they fit me that well. I think something to do with the strap pushing your heel a little bit more forward. It just didn't fit right. It pushed my toes more up to the toe box. So I did ask them to send me a size 13s and these size 13s fit me perfectly. And I've been enjoying them with the size 13. So if you do get the Albion's size up on your sandals, but for the Covellos, you could stay with your true size, which for me is a size 12. So the next thing we'll talk about is how heavy these are. So out of the size 10 sandals, these are size 12s, they are 8.9 ounces, which I feel it's pretty light. I know I have other running shoes that are a lot heavier than that. I feel like 8.9 for a recovery sandal is pretty good. I, I don't have any issue with the weight of them at all. It's more about being comfortable with the sandals than not. So I feel like for the weight of them, they're just fine. This is a, it's a good weight for these sandals. All right, so what is the price of these? For the Albion, these will cost you 120 bucks. And then for the Covellos, these will run you about $110. Yes, that is very pricey for a recovery sandal, but I think that the materials that they're made out of and just the construction of them, and if you compare them to their orthotics, that's about on par what they're charging for their orthotics and their shoes. They are more on the costier side, so 110 and 120 dollars for these, I think that they are a little bit expensive, but they do say that they do have a lifetime guarantee and you could also resole the bottom of your sandals if you want to. If they do wear away, you can resole them. So, you know, these will last you for a good while, get you a good pair of shoes. And I think that these do, again, look good. So, 
Which one would I choose between these two? I think if you are into hiking, definitely get the ones with the straps. You could go with the strapless one, but if you're going to go out for a hike, get the one with a strap, especially if you're going to be wading in water. That I'll be just be more secure on your foot with that heel strap right there. So I do like the Cavellos. This is the ones I wear most of the time. And I think that for casual use, these are going to be great. And if you do go hiking on them, you will have a little bit of, you know, that flip flop at the back, just because you don't have the heel strap, but you can go hiking with these as well. Uh, which one would I get if I were to buy these, since these were sent to me? I'd probably get the Covellas. I do like the Covellas. They are cheaper, 110 bucks. And for me, I like the flip-flop style of sandals. These, you know, the strap sometimes does get annoying for myself and I like the flip-flop style. So the Covellas are the ones that I would get. So who are these sandals for? I think these are gonna be for runners, for hikers, for people that have plantar fasciitis issues or foot issues. These things are made by people who make great orthotics. And you know, for me, I feel like they are really supportive under my arch and they're just a great looking pair of recovery sandals that you could wear anytime and anywhere. So what I'm gonna give this is Goku Runner score. As y'all can tell, I really like these. They are a little bit pricey, but I'm still gonna give it a Goku Runner thumbs up. I've been wearing these a lot the last month and a half, super comfortable. And you know, my feet don't hurt. My feet don't hurt. And you know, I like them. I, I really, I don't know what else to say. I like these sandals. They're comfortable on my foot and I wear them a lot. So that's, that's pretty much a uh, Goku Runner thumbs up for me. So if you guys do want to buy them, you guys can check out the links down below. They are affiliate links. It will help out their channel, but it won't cost you any more to use those links. So I would appreciate if you guys do use those links. So that's going to be it for this Tread Labs review of these recovery sandals, the Cavellos and the Albions. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. And if you guys want to, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.